everyone is recognizing me. I can't have lost all my money. Gustavo, it's me, Veronica, your wife. Everything's fine. Veronica, I'm your father. You realize that no one knows you like I do, right? I know you hate your husband. You'd stick a knife right into his back, huh? The Gustavo I knew, the one I thought I knew, now he's gone. Perhaps Severo wasn't too wrong when he said you were no good. That you were garbage. You won't believe what I just heard, Thais. Mr. Alcino, Gustavo's best friend, along with his wife and brother, are plotting to finish him. What? To finish him off. I can't let that happen, Thais. I have to do something before it's too late. Who are you? How did you get in this house? All right, keep me informed. They've just taken Gustavo from the house. Watch out with what you're doing to my brother. I told you, Davi. Gustavo is safe. Okay, Alcino, but where are those men taking my husband? Uh-uh. Alcino, I need uh -uh. to know. No, need to know basis. All I'm saying is he's going to a special place. Guys, you're worrying too much. It's just an adventurous trip with a friend, that's all. All right? Gustavo may be scared at first, but it'll do him good to wake up and not feel like a king. When you called, you said you had things to take care of and didn't know when you'd be back. What were you doing, Mom? Is there something wrong at work? It's nothing, my son. Gloria, Tarsicio, come to Mommy. Oh. Give your mom a hug, please. And in other news, the president will be today for the <sighs> oh, This is the best, my God. To talk about possible Where are Francisco and Regina? I want to hug them too. Mm -hmm. They're in bed. Everything's fine, okay? It's all right. I wonder what happened for her to be like that. I don't know, Tarsicio, but you can see she's not well. job, you'll find another one. The important thing is to have my children with me. They're the most precious thing in this life. We'd better go in through the back. You're the best. You have it all set. Here, my friend. Sure, thanks, thanks a lot. I'll call you anytime I need a cab. Sure, thanks, my friend. Keep the change. French champagne? This is the best. My god, here. As if you could tell the difference. Sure, I can tell <laughs> the difference. Look into my eyes. Mm? I've worked in France, darling. Mm. Hmm. Brussels. Yeah. Brussels is in Belgium, Roberto. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you're right. I failed my geography classes. Mm. But you know I have a master's degree in other subjects. Mm. Don't you? No, 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 I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't feel like it. Can't you see I don't feel like it? I'm anxious. I called you because I didn't want to be alone. 
I've had such a difficult time. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine how hard it is chipping away your own husband. You must be feeling a little strange, maybe a little guilty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. As far as I know, you're the one deeply involved in this story. Me? My hands are clean. Well, you... You know that's not true. We are both... Dirty, filthy, bonded forever. Listen, you are absolutely positive that the men you hired are trustworthy, right? You've asked me that a thousand times and I've said they are. It's all right, babe, relax. <sighs> I think you need to relax, enjoy your time, come here. Wow. <laughs> I loved it. The wife of the all-powerful Gustavo Brando, together with his brand's top model plotting against him. That's not nice, Mrs. Veronica. Hmm. Yeah, I think today I've hit the jackpot. <laughs> Listen, Natasha, have you gone crazy? That's right. Hold me tight, Roberto. You know I like it, right? He has a strong grip. <laughs> How did you get in here? You know your house could be safer. Come on, tell me what you want. I came here to settle my debt with your husband, that bastard. But now I've changed my mind. Yes, now I think it's you who has the debt to settle with me. Unless you want me to tell the whole world what I've just heard. Can you do me a favor and not get involved? This Wait, is Roberto. not the time to do this. This is not the Wait. time. Wait. Let us hear what she has to say. Sure. Mom, you look so worried, Mom. Yeah, Mom. What happened? Tell us. I lost my job, guys. I'm unemployed. Oh, Mom, how did you lose your job? Why? Oh, darling, I got into a mess. I overheard a conversation between Mr. Gustavo's partner, along with his wife and his brother, and they were plotting against him. And what did I do? <sighs> Don't tell me you told everything to your boss, Mom. Well, my son, he didn't believe me. He humiliated me, and then he fired me. Why did you get involved in this mess? Uh, you have to stop trying to save the world all the time. Yeah, darling, who do I think I am to change the world? Well, what are we going to do now? What do you mean by that? Tomorrow, I'll go and search for a new job, and I'll get one. <laughs> After all, my name is Rosanelda Pereira dos Santos, all right? <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> mm. um, come and give me a Nobody hug. Nobody gets you down, right, Nobody, Mom? Nobody, my darling. <laughs> Nobody. Let's go. Where's that pasta from lunchtime? I'm starving. <laughs> here. Hey, do you want some juice? I want juice, everything. Tell me. Tell me how much you want. Tell me. Don't you shout at me. I'll go to the media and tell them what I've heard. Just try me I'll and you'll kill you. Stop That's it. right. Hey. Sure, easy, easy. I already know what you want. I can promote your modeling career. I have contacts abroad. I can do that for you. <laughs> now you think I have what it takes to go global. Is that it? Too late, darling. I have just switched careers. I won't work anymore, ever again. You know what's my income now? Interest from the money you'll pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I want 10 million dollars. You got it? You must be crazy. I don't have that kind of money. No, I'm not. Find a way. Ask for a loan. The banks trust you. 10 million. Otherwise, I'll go public. You just try to do you that. Give me Wait, money or I'll get No! Ernestina and Pericles are down there. And now what? And what, Veronica? They're going to call the police. They're going to arrest us. What are we gonna do? Put this on, put it on. Ernestina has seen Gustavo wearing the sweater I gave him. She's going to think you are him. But why would I put it on? Why do I need a sweater? Listen, <gasps> listen to me. We're going to leave in Gustavo's car. It's in the garage. I'm going to hide on the floor in the back. Ernestina will see you alone flying off with the car. You got it? You're crazy, you're listen. crazy. Shh. Ernestina is a sap, she won't notice. She'll see Gustavo's sweater and car and she will think you are him. And just make sure she sees this sweater, you got it? And then I'll arrive, as if I were coming from the party in a taxi. And the car? What am I gonna do with Gustavo's car? Have it chopped up. But clean your fingerprints first. Put it on. Put the sweater on, come on. And don't touch anything else here. Your prints must be all over.
My God. Jesus Christ, how terrible. My God. She must have fallen from the balcony. Hazen as the boss? That's the boss's car. Well, who's driving? That's him, Mr. Gustavo. Are you sure? I can't see his face. That's him, all right. He's using the sweater Mrs. Veronica gave him. Jesus Christ, dear God, he's running away. Call the police. Wait. Call the police, Pericles, for Christ's sake. Come on, come on. Open up, hurry up. Stay down. What happened here? Oh, Mrs. Veronica. They found a dead woman in the garden. What? A, a woman? What woman? Natasha, the model. What was she doing here? They had that horrible argument at the party tonight. Ah, she and your husband had a misunderstanding. Yes, they did. Mm. Gustavo fired him. Natasha at the party. Oh. Uh, mister, you don't think she... After the woman was found dead right here in the garden, the maid said your husband left in his car. He was driving fast. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? I have no idea. Let's go. Let's go. Go on, go. <clears throat> No one should enter the house until tomorrow. Why, Mr. Salviano? We need the house empty in order to photograph the rooms, gather fingerprints. We need to know if any other person has been inside the house recently. Mrs. Veronica, it would be of great help if your husband showed up. Please warn us if he gets in touch with you anytime soon. All right. I'll be back tomorrow to uh, question family members, employees, you witnessed Mr. Gustavo running away. We'll have to talk. Running? My boss wouldn't do that. Of course not. There must be some other explanation. Sir, may I go get my things? Do as you wish. Excuse me? Let's start, guys. I'm going to get my things. Can you... Can you take me to a hotel? Sure I can. But I'll be in the car. I'll... I'll call Alcino and tell him what happened. Do you think that's necessary? Of course. Alcino has to bring Gustavo back so he can defend himself. All right. Oh, my dear St. Francis. Help me get another job soon. I didn't do anything wrong, right? I was just trying to help the man. Whatever happened to Mr. Gustavo? What did they do to him? What is this place? What the hell is going on here?
Alcino? Hmm? According to the map, we have to head towards northwest. Which way is that? Wait. Here. Happy birthday. For me? Mm hmm. It's a compass. It's a compass and a watch in one. It's waterproof, too. This is cool. You must have cost a lot. Are you crazy, Alcino? So check which way we should go. So you can find yourself, you bastard. Alcino! Where are you, you bastard? You've crossed the line! kilometers northwest at the Almas Lighthouse. Down to you, let's have breakfast. No, Rose, I've, I've had breakfast already. I came earlier because I was worried about something I heard at the hospital. Tiao, for God's no, sake. No, is it true, Rose, that you've lost your Tiao, job? Tiao, oh, Did you lose your job, Mom? Calm down. What do you mean Relax. you lost your job? Nothing. Did you Don't have worry. to say that in front of the kids? Oh, Rose, I'm sorry. I got worried. That's calm all. Calm down. Calm down. Mm, relax, guys. It's not the end of the world. Oh, yeah? Mom's going to get another job, darling. Don't worry. Oh, Regina, don't be like that, okay? Yeah, Mom always here, manages to do things. All right, honey. And also, also, sweetie, uh, uh, Daddy will find a job. To help you guys out. Gloria, go and brush Regina oh, and Francisco's sure. teeth, please. Sure, we Mom. have to go to school. Yeah, Gloria, go. go. On. Let's go. Don't worry, darling. So, Tiao. Don't make promises you can't keep, okay? Yeah, but I get worried about you guys. Rose, listen to me. Just listen. Listen. If you let me come back. No, home, I don't want to hear serious. that. Serious. If you let me come I back. I don't want to hear that. Rose, I told Eloisa we were going to leave the kids at school and mm -hmm. then we'd go to Aromas to sign our resignation papers, okay? Well, I just hope they don't cancel our social security benefits. I'll go crazy if they do that, Thais. Why did you call me here? What's wrong? I've lost the keys to my house. You're kidding. I can't believe it. Did you leave them inside the car? I'm screwed, Veronica. Now what? They're coming after me. I knew this wouldn't work. I Calm knew it. Calm down. I Relax. Knew it. Don't be hysterical. How can I relax? The woman's dead. How she can I... She died. Did you kill her? No. Neither did I. What can we do? Accidents happen. She just fell. Will they question me? Yeah, probably. Oh. You were Natasha's colleague at work. Relax. You have to stay calm. Tell them you left the party and went straight home. Your brother can confirm this. But don't forget to mention you saw the argument between Gustavo and Natasha. And how about my keys? How could I lose my keys? Are, are they in the car? Are they somewhere in your Roberto, house? Roberto, listen to me. The accident with that girl was the best thing that could have happened to us. The police will think. They'll think Gustavo killed her and ran away. That is if no one meets them before, right? There's Alcino, there's Alcino. Hey, wait, wait a minute. You assured me the men you hired will get to Gustavo before Alcino. Don't come and Veronica, tell me they- just relax. They're on the same flight as Alcino. They're right behind him. They'll take care of him first, then they'll go after Gustavo. Don't worry, it's going to work. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll start our descent in a few minutes. Please move We're your seat to an upright position. About time. 
I can't wait to meet up with Gustavo. Speak to him, look at his eyes. Somewhere where no one, nothing will disturb us. I also think you'd better find Gustavo soon. I think this prank is too risky. Just imagine. You left him in the desert. He's being closely monitored by my men, Mari. And he'll be monitored by me as soon as we land. Yes, I'm telling you guys. Hey, Susanna. Hmm? We're here to take care of our paperwork. Yes, could you talk to Mr. Gustavo Brandau about us? Guys, I... Aromas, good morning. Natasha? Natasha? Do you know who it is, guys? The model uh -huh. from our last campaign. Do you know her? The one that Gustavo fired and made a big scene That's at the party? That's the one, my friend. They found her dead at Mr. Gustavo's house. She fell from the roof, the balcony, bedroom. I don't know. People huh? are saying it's murder, guys. Mr. Gustavo is the prime suspect. <gasps> Mr. Gustavo? Do they really think Gustavo was a murderer? The housemaid saw him fleeing in his car. Then he disappeared. Police think he's running away, guys. Hey, this is wow, serious stuff. I never stuff. thought Mr. Like Gustavo could do such a thing. Mr. Gustavo came in by himself and dismissed us. We were already asleep. Then we heard a noise outside. Then we came out and found the lady in the garden. Yes, then Mr. Gustavo left in his car driving fast. Are you really sure it was your boss in the car? I am positive, sir. It was Mr. Gustavo. He was wearing the red sweater Mrs. Veronica gave him for his birthday. Mr. Gustavo's parents and brother have arrived, Mr. Salviano. His wife is also waiting. What about his partner, Alcino? Have you found him? He's on a trip. There was a compass and a watch in the bag they left with Gustavo. Just like the one I gave him when we were kids. The compass has a GPS transmitter. I can find him anywhere he is. You see this moving dot here? That's Gustavo. Your partner, your wife, and your brother are plotting to finish you, sir. Dear God in heaven. So that maid was right. Rose, I can't believe it, Rose. Mr. Gustavo is a man without any scruples. I knew that, but I couldn't imagine he was capable of killing someone. This whole story is too hard to swallow, Thais. First I hear his partner, his wife, and his brother plotting to make him disappear. Then he's accused of murder? Perhaps he had planned to kill her. Then they helped him disappear so he could escape from the police. Stop, stop talking nonsense, well, Thais. If Mr. Gustavo really wanted to kill her, do you think he'd be stupid enough to kill her in his own house? They'd know for sure that he'd done it. Yeah, well, but he ran away. This means he has something to do with it. Ernestina saw him, she wouldn't lie. Right, I agree, Ernestina wouldn't lie, especially in a situation like this. Perhaps he wasn't running away. What if there was another person hiding inside the car, pointing a gun to his head? I've seen this happen in a telenovela by Jeanette Claire Thais. Rose, I can't believe what I'm hearing. This is real life. Telenovelas are something else. This story is really hard to swallow. That it is. But Ernestina, tell me, where is the chief of police? I served coffee and cake to him and his assistant. And what about the questioning, Pericles? How did it go? It's all fine, Mr. Ferdinando. I'm just very confused. So, Davi, did you manage to tell Alcino about what's happening here? No. His cell phone and Mari's don't even <sighs> ring. I didn't leave any messages. Come here, Veronica. What, Davi? You seem so nervous. Veronica, I thought about it. I'll tell everything to Mr. Salviano. That he didn't run away. That we kidnapped him. I'll say Alcino wanted to play a joke on my brother. That we don't know where they are and that we knew it was going to happen. Don't do this. Let's wait, Davi. Wait for what? We need to tell the truth. Davi, we can't do this. We can't do this. They're going to think Alcino helped Gustavo to run away after Natasha died. 
calm down. Let's wait. Let's wait. Give time for Alcino to come back with Gustavo. Don't say anything until they come back. Please don't. Yeah. I saw Gustavo cutting Natasha off the show. He was harsh on her. But he's always harsh to those that work for him. Everyone knows that. Gustavo is a perfectionist. Sometimes he's a little arrogant, cold. But that doesn't mean he killed that girl, sir. If he didn't kill her, why did he run away then? Maybe he didn't run away. We have reason to believe your brother has left the state. Mr. Salviano, I have to tell you something. Uh, wait a minute, Dovey. Excuse me, why do you think he has left the state? Ah, we're just guessing. Uh, you were about to say something? Oh, I was gonna say that I know my brother very well and he... He couldn't kill anybody. I know it. Very well. Thanks a lot, I'm satisfied. But if you recall anything important, please contact me. I'm on my own from here to meet up with Gustavo. Are you sure you don't want me to go with you? <laughs> yes. This issue is between him and me. But what if something happens? What if you get sick? Nothing's going to happen. I'll keep you informed. Okay. Just make sure he doesn't notice we're following him. Do you need some help? Oh man, please, give us a hand, thanks. What happened? Are you stuck? Hey, yeah, thanks for stopping sure thing. for us, man. Let's push. Come on, Let's guys. Let's go. Right. go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Go. shouldn't have played with fire.
we're stuck. Now what? Well, now we can't use his car anymore, right? Yeah, I can see that. What do we do? Let's go. We gotta finish the job. On foot? On foot. Here, don't worry. Look. We saw this close. Let's go. our man, you see? Yeah, I see him. Alcino and a guide. Listen, you're a good shot, right? Come on, man. Just leave it to me. Then shoot him already. Don't you worry. The game is starting for real right now, my man. Here, you bastards! I'm... Alcino sent those guys to kill me. Oh, Alcino, you've been watching too many movies. I have too. Down there. Look, Are you come sure? on. Sure. Yeah. Be careful.
There's no one here, man. Here. A guy wouldn't stop in this swamp. There's nothing but toads here. Here. See, you always get us into trouble. I want to see my money, you hear me? Wait. Wait. What is it? Wait, wait, I can see him. Wait. What? I can see something here, behind that tree. Come here. Go, 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 go. Where is he? Where the hell is the guy? There's no one here. I told you. I told you this stupid thing didn't work, man. Now what? What do we do now, huh? Ugh. That bastard. That bastard made fools out of us, man. Look what's there. So what do we do now, huh? He's gonna go to the closest village. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Davi called while you were away. They found Natasha dead. The model from Aromas? Yeah, that's the one. They found her body lying in the garden at Gustavo's house. Someone threw her from the balcony, his room, I don't know, the same night you sent him there. Oh my god. He fired the girl at the party. She was found dead in the garden at his house, and he's gone. He's the prime suspect. at all. 